So EcoJet is a project to develop and further characterise a more sustainable composite material as a possible alternative to titanium in aircraft engine component manufacture. Titanium is a, you know, an excellent product for aircraft engine components, but it is quite heavy and you know, is not the most sustainable material in terms of its sourcing and in terms of the embodied carbon in the manufacturing of the part. The composite materials developed in EcoJet certainly are potentially much lighter weight and can also offer a you know, much lower embodied carbon in the final structure, therefore sort of at least getting us on the road to, towards net zero. Today we're in our manufacturing unit uh, in Sleaford, Lincolnshire, where we're making prepregs. Uh, prepreg is short for pre-impregnated composite material. It is basically a fibre, in this case carbon fibre, that is impregnated with a resin, in this case the PS200 resin system, to make a composite material that can then be sent to a customer who will mould it and cure it and make parts from it. The resin that we base the material on is actually, for a start, 100% bio-based. So there is no, no oil base, no uh, fossil fuel in the material in any way, shape or form. It is also derived from waste products. It is actually derived from waste products from cane sugar production. So we take the, our supplier takes the waste material, extracts a chemical from it that becomes the resin that we use. So what we're looking at here is the lightweighting of our engine components, um, components which see really high temperatures and in case of failure, fire which is why we're using PS200, because it's a, a resin system that's really good at being a flame and heat shield. Another aspect of sustainability is the weight reduction, because PS200 carbon composites are about half the weight of titanium, and as you know, any weight reduction in a flying aircraft is fuel saved, which is also an, an important element of sustainability. So what I think is clearly innovative about uh, the EcoJet project is the resin chemistry involved in the PS200 material. It's a completely natural source of materials uh, with a very low carbon and currently not used in any great quantity within the aerospace industry so characterizing that and adapting it for aerospace manufacturing is, is really quite novel and unique. This project actually falls from previous NATEP projects to develop the, the basic resin so that the groundwork for this project was, was helped by, by NATEP and we find that working with NATEP a, enables us to have a really good collaboration with uh, both uh, partners within the project and then users NATEP helps bring all that together and then it also helps us fund our R&D. Uh, we've spent a lot of money and time and effort on this project uh, that we would not necessarily have done without NATEP's help. I think NATEP's helping to, on top of funding and structure, to bring visibility to the project and to what the company is doing really because the findings are being communicated to a large audience thanks to the programme, which I think is also helping quite a lot. I don't think you can underestimate the value of the mentoring that you get from NATEP. For a business like SHD, you know, th even that first step of uh, having a good idea and getting a bid proposal through can be quite taxing and the NATEP team are very supportive at the bid stage right the way through. So I, I like to think it is sort of a proactive cradle to cradle support. So it's not only at that initial stage, but the mentor and supporters all the way through the project with the partners. Uh, but particularly additively, even at the end, they're supporting us on dissemination and exploitation and then even asking us you know, how we do things next. So I think that is really valuable. Mm -hmm.